Materials required are one iron bolt, two dry cells connected in series to give a voltage of three volts, paper wrapping enameled copper wire, flat piece of wood, a compass. The procedure is as follows. Take the iron bolt, make windings of the copper wire over the iron bolt with 150 turns, 250, 350 and 450 turns. The coil should have two free endings. Wind up another copper wire on bolt with 250 turns. Continue the process and make windings of 350 and 450 turns. Place the iron bolt on the flat piece of wood. Connect the terminals of the coil of 150 turns to the two dry cells. The iron core will become a magnet. Now place a compass near the bolt. The compass will show a deflection. Repeat the same process with the windings of 250, 350 and 450 turns. What do you see? You will see each time the deflection of the compass will be more and more. Let us now study the effect of electric current by using only one dry cell. Connect the terminals of the coil of 150 turns to only one dry cell. You will observe a certain deflection. Then connect the terminals of the coil to two dry cells. What do you observe? You will observe a greater deflection. If same procedure is carried out with coils of 250, 350 and 450 turns, then also the deflection of the magnetic needle with one cell is less than the deflection obtained with two cells. What is happening? The iron bolt behaves like a magnet when electric current is passed through the coil because a magnetic field is generated around the coil. In short, the iron rod behaves as an electromagnet. The magnetic strength depends upon the number of turns of the coil and the current flowing through them. As the number of turns is increased, the strength of the magnetic field also increases. This is the reason why on doing the experiment with the compass, the deflection of the compass becomes more and more as the number of turns of the coil increases. Similarly, the strength of magnetic field also increases with the increase of electric current. This is the reason why the deflection of the magnetic needle with one cell each time is less than the deflection obtained with two cells.